three is a very short list from Simon. And they were taken out because the conditions here are a little faster, the trainers felt, than advertised. And the fast ground will suit the other runners. General Pershing, 100 to 30, Adrian Maguire, Senor Albert Trudy will love fast ground, 9 to 4, Norman Williamson. And the favourite, Southampton, 11 to 10 on, Brian Clifford in the saddle. Well, Southampton short, surely entitled to be favourite here uh, because uh, the, there is a possibility that the grey senior old Petrucci will get away in front and that's what he likes to do. If he's taken on for the lead, he generally sulks. Uh, but General Pershing has only run once in the last three years, so it's uh, difficult to think of him coming back to his old, the old good form he used to show. But will the senior get a nice clear lead? Let's have a look. And expect another attacking ride from Norman Williamson after his third winner of the day on Senor Albert Trudy. Right of picture, the grey horse, but uh, preceded at this point by General Pershing and Adrian Maguire, who's gone off at a fair old lick and uh, well, did get too high at the first, but landed a good five or six lengths clear of Senor Albert Trudy and then Southampton last of the three. Over the second, an open ditch, and General Pershing, relying his 11 years at the moment. Gone off like a two-year-old. Good eight or ten lengths clear of oh, Senor Albert Trudy and then Southampton. General Pershing, lengths clear. It's a breakneck pace. Tempted to say far too quick. General Pershing, lands clear. Can he possibly keep this up? Senor Albert Trudy in second. Southampton content Brian Clifford to sit last of the three. John Frankham, it looks as though uh, Adrian's just taking a pull now on General Pershing. <laughs> well, he's trying to take a pull, Simon. And this is the type of horse that would warm you up on the coldest afternoon if you're a jockey. He's all but out of control. Anybody else would be probably uh, sitting a lot further back. But really keen over those first three or four fences. He's just starting to get him now. And I should think he's hoping that uh, Norman Williamson and Brian Clifford just leave him go of two or three lengths until this horse switches off. But they're not doing that will be interesting to see whether he takes off with him again the closer they get exciting ride but he's settled a little bit and he's jumping better yes he'll be a jump jockey and settle for the log fire and slippers any day general pershing continues in front and adrian just about has him under an anchor now but senior elba i wonder how he'll uh, take to being headed for uh, what uh, over a mile already and at Southampton, well, they may just be playing into his hands. So they swing left-handed and begin the climb away from the stands. And General Pershing, only about a length and a half out in front this time, from Senor Elba Trudy and then Southampton. On towards the next, number nine, General Pershing. Have a big, bold leap, an exuberant jump from Senor Elba Trudy in Southampton, just uh, dropping off a little and uh, Brian Clifford uh, niggling a little as they take an open ditch. General Pershing stood right up off that again and continues in front from Senor Elba Trudy as they continue the long climb away on the far side of the course and Southampton is closing up, going up there in the blue visor. That's quite a useful turn of foot, Southampton, at the business end. Now they run down the hill. I wonder if General Pershing will take off again under Adrian. Senor Elba Trudy, the grey in second. Under Norman Williamson, already successful. And let's be frank, an influenced peddler here today. Adrian McGuire, of course, looking for a treble as well. He earlier scored on Carroll's Crusader and Mulligan. These two informed jockeys sharing the work now followed by Brian Clifford in third on Southampton. They swing left-handed, a line of five fences down the back, two more on the home straight after that. General Pershing wide of Senor Elba Trudy, who's now taking on the leader. They kick clear again of Southampton. The first down the back, big jump by Senor Elba Trudy, just out jumped General Pershing this time. On towards the next, which is an open ditch. Senor Elba Trudy lands about a length in front from General Pershing and they've drawn uh, some way ahead now from Southampton. It must be a good eight or ten lengths. 
Southampton struggling to keep up. Senor Elbertruti just nodded on landing there, but beginning to get the better of this argument. General Pershing now three or four lengths down, and Senor Elbertruti organised again by Norman going into that, and landed with a healthy advantage. General Pershing, who went so fast early on, is now beginning to count the cost of that, and Southampton in last place running a lifeless race at the moment. Uh, very disappointing indeed. Hasn't picked up the bridle at all. So approaching the home turn and Senor Elbertruti with a commanding advantage now. One would have expected him to have sulked early on having been headed to the first for the first mile or so by General Pershing. But uh, not a bit of it. He's enjoying himself now. Two fences left to go. Senor Elbertruti well clear. Lands safely over two out. Looking back, uh, Southampton is closing on General Pershing. Uh, has about five or six lengths to go to make up on him, but there'll be no doubt about the winner, providing he gets over the last. A good uh, jump at it by Senor Elbertruti, who's going to complete a three-timer here for Norman Williamson today. Uh, looking back for the minor honours, Southampton finally running on past General Pershing, who's got a bit tired and can't blame him after the early work, but up to the line, Senor Elbertruti practically walking past the judge. Southampton ran on for second, and then last of the three, General Pershing. Well, an interesting race to watch, despite the fact that there were only three runners, and uh, one that uh, a race that really didn't uh, go uh, according to plan. One would have thought that Senor Elbertruti might have made the early running, but he was quite happy to sit in behind General Pershing and has uh, landed the spoils here by a, uh, a healthy margin in the end. He's right down at uh, odds of nine to four. Let's see, runner-up Southampton there in the blue visor never really gave favourite punters much hope, and General Pershing having uh, had his moment of glory for about a mile, put in some exuberant leaps, but uh, really needs to settle a bit better than that. Well, really uh, good jumping performance this from Senor Albertruti. Jumped from fence to fence, normally likes to bowl along, make the run in, could never get in a blow against General Pershing early on, and that may have just uh, played into his hands slightly different change of tactics but when he got through on the inside of David Nicholson's runner as they turned down the bottom of that hill and into the back straight he was absolutely running away jumped from fence to fence and has come home an easy winner and just would have done his confidence the world of good just been slightly out of sorts this horse and a good training performance from Susan Nock and the way that he's won you wouldn't have said that he wouldn't have won anyway even if uh, around the game